Right now, I feel like I'm a driver in a firefighter truck and running into a fire with no brakes. So you can imagine myself getting incinerated in a moment with my thoughts and I want to really calm down myself and you know, set this fire off by coming out with my own thoughts about my industry and about what NIBM has by affiliating with Limcock Wing University. I think Limcock Wing University got to be proud of with whom they are affiliating with by looking at the credentials, I mean, rather I would say the background of NIBM, they're not here just as an institution just to get hooked with somebody like for their own survival, but I'm sure they have a vast experience, a kind of a repertoire that they can be proud of bringing up the youth of the Sri Lankan youth to a level of academics. So I think uh, today they're coming up with some innovation, getting into a vast field, a spectrum of area of you know, offering their education to Sri Lankan youth, giving them so many creative subjects to learn, plus certain subjects that Sri Lankan had never been deprived of having to learn. So especially uh, if I talk about myself, I'm an actor who has been really hungry to learn about acting as a profession, a professional actor, and I never had this chance of learning this. So in my school days, I had the opportunity to learn something real, you call it a master art, from a professor from Germany, East Berlin, one Dr. Norbert Jemeyer. And to get into his workshop was a hell of a task for me and a challenge for me. Not to get elected for the as a candidate for the small pack of people as these workshop students, but to get the permission from home to get into this. Because Sri Lankans, they still, I think they feel, an actor has no future. Actor is a pauper. Maybe an artist is a pauper, rather because they lack that dynamic you know, character or the basic economic background for them to feel like you know, giants in a country. So in, in my case, my father was a businessman, so he also was restricted with his own ideas, like to give me permission to do whatever I wanted, especially which I was talented in. So I had a hell of a task, how to get into this group of you know, young people to do this workshop. But I had a little bit of artistic instincts like drawing kind of things. So I could easily you know, master the art of signing the signature of the principal. So I wrote a letter. And I said, okay, your son is elected, uh, you know, selected for a camp, I mean, uh, workshop, so, uh, it's, uh, you have to give him permission, so blah, blah, blah. So I read a big letter which I wrote on my own. And father said, at the end it says, please send your consent for him. So he said, okay, write it for your, by yourself. So I started writing the reply also myself <laughs> for him. So at the end of it, I didn't have all to put my father's signature by myself, but I gave it to him, <laughs> which I easily done. Anyway. <clears throat> That was the way I managed to, you know, scoot out of the house to enter into my first experience. Because the parents, they didn't have faith in this industry. So I'm, I'm glad that NIBM has affiliated with Limcock Wing to offer so much 
in the communication and media for the youth to study about. And this is something that has very attractive job opportunities all around the world. As a matter of fact, the film industry needs lots of support from 3D animation. And this technology is the future of the film industry and it generates so much of revenue even for India and people you know, outsource their work to get all these products done. So mind, mind you, like, you know, you can generate so much of revenue in terms of this particular technology. So however, talking about acting and presenting and, you know, it's a different ball game. I think how much ever you try to produce the same copy or maybe a similar copies of one thing in art field, you can't produce two of Baba Bhatia. <laughs> it's only one. So that is the talent that what you should uh, really, I mean, make out of somebody to come up with their own talent. So I think. NIBM, with this new program, I'm sure it will pave the way for the youth to find out the horizons of all these subjects and learn about it to a level that they can present with a decent certification, diploma, degree, that they can come out and say, we are in power of all the other countries that we can be proud to be in power with any kind of, you know, degree in any other country. So I'm glad that finally there is an interest in this area because none of the governments never took that interest to give the young people to learn their acting to learn their presenting. But of course we have singing, we have dancing. There are institutions, aesthetic studies which are, the, which are done, but not in the area of acting, not in the area of performing. So still, there's a hell of a vacuum to fill that with the profound artistry, to come up with young people who can be really delivering the international standards out of themselves. So I'm sure in time to come, I wonder whether NIBM provides the acting abilities you know, to develop the acting abilities, the art of acting. But I think mass media and communication will provide new areas of modern technological you know, aspect of learning subjects and uh, I'm glad that I'm being invited for this very remarkable moment to have spoken in front of you and especially with our minister, honorable minister uh, and he's the one to develop our skills and the vocational training in this country. I'm sure with his blessing NIBM will have a lot of strength behind them and uh, I wish all success and I believe NIBM has been a great institution for young people all these years and more years to come willing with more strength and gathering young people to come out with their best talents and bringing revenue for the country and also coming up with people, youth who has the knowledge, who are real professional in their own trades, especially going international and becoming more recognized in the world and make our motherland proud of everything. Thank you very much.